Hi all folks, this is Max from droidbionicroot.com and uh, suddenly it's very rainy and we got a storm here, um, here in San Francisco Bay Area. Uh, anyway, um, life goes on and uh, for those of you on other phones, um, I'm going to try to really round robin this week. Um, I have just too many phones right now and it's really hard for me to multitask. I'm not really good at that. But uh, anyway, Today we're going to uh, showcase the uh, Unlash 3D ROM. Um, this is one of the first ROMs for Droid Bionic. I highly recommend it. Um, let me just give you uh, details. It's got PNG optimization, zip align, DODX, uh, basically all that stuff. For those of you who don't know, it just makes your system faster. And uh, the coolest thing about this ROM is that it has a webtop ACMI, ACMI webtop hack in it, which means you can use the webtop just by connecting your ACMI. Um, that feature I really like. Let me do a quadrant test for you. Let's see what we get here. Um, quadrant test isn't really, you know, it doesn't tell you really exactly everything, um, but I just think it. It still works. Oh, anyway, um, it's kind of running slow. I'm not sure why. Um, but it does tell you, you know, overall speed of Droid Bionic. Um, so you can do a, you know, compare it, sort of compare it with other ROMs and other kernels. There's no overclocking kernel for this phone yet, but uh, once it comes out, it should be pretty good. Um, I don't think the source code is out there for Droid Bionic. If it comes out, I'm, I'll be one of the first to get on it and make an overclock kernel. Um, 2245, it's alright. Um, but o the overall experience, I've been using this for a couple of days. Uh, it's got battery, better battery life, overstock. Um, and let's do a limpad test really quick. Um, I'm not really getting great you know, numbers on this. But that's not the point of it. Oh, oh that's not bad, 50. Um, but this ROM is definitely faster and has more features. Um, so I'm getting around 50, just to benchmark it if when the new new stuff come out. Anyway, let me connect it to my computer uh, via HDMI cable, uh, my computer monitor, and let's see what it can do. Hi oh, folks, so this has HDMI webtop hack. Um, I mean, you can just, there's a hack you can do on Rooted or any other ROMs, but I find it just easier because this ROM, and you'll get a webtop option right there. And then, let's switch the screen. And it's booting up. And that should be here in five seconds. Sorry, it looks like my LCD monitor is dusty, but my camera picks up like everything. <laughs> anyway, I'll clean it. I know there's going to be a bunch of trolls. Hey, clean your screen. Yeah, everything's dirty. Oh, whoops. There you go. Let's do it again. This is great because uh, the web top is actually higher resolution, and I was watching some. HD um, YouTube videos. Let's actually do that. And you can use the mouse pad uh, for those of you first timers. Um, so I'll give you a full screen of this asteroid thingy. And let's bring it up to 720p. I think it's a great way if you have one of the older LCD TVs and you don't have Netflix on your TV. Just hook this up and, uh, wait, does that make sense? Well, it has ACMI mirroring too. So, that's not too bad. Let's uh, get out of here. Um, I find uh, compared to the, the web top, compared to the Atrix 4G, is a lot zippier, but it's still a bit laggy to use it on everyday basis, so that's why I didn't get the web top. Um, Thingy. But, but as you can see, the webtop hack works really well. Um, let's go back to the phone real quick. 
So this is a great ROM, but it, uh, it will you'll have to wipe and you'll lose all your apps and data and settings. Um, I'll have another video uh, showing you how to back it up before you move to a new ROM for the Droid Bionic. Um, you can use Titanium Manager. But this is pretty much the best ROM out there. I highly recommend you guys to uh, try it out and let me know what you think. And don't forget to subscribe. We've got more videos for Galaxy Tab, HCC Evo. Um, all these, all these phones we got here. Crazy. Alright, see y'all later.